and getting involved in a sexual scandal with one of his interns. All right? Bill Clinton is a former president of the United States. He actually served two terms during the 1990s. Most notable achievements were playing the saxophone, having a cat named Sox, and getting involved in a sexual scandal with one of his interns. Okay? Like, seriously, that's what the guy's remembered for. But why are we talking about Bill Clinton in relation to the Game Awards last night? Because at the end of the night, a mysterious person, all right, who no one knows, during the acceptance speech for Game of the Year, snuck on stage along with a group of game developers who were accepting the award, and after they were done accepting the award, okay, he grabs the microphone and says, Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. Everyone looks at him and says, what the, f what is going on? Then people in black suits rush the stage, grab the person, threw them off the stage, and everyone's wondering what actually happened. Well, I actually have the answers. This person was not necessarily arrested, but was held. All right, they were questioned by authorities. This person is a 15-year-old Jewish kid who I guess actually had an invitation to the Game Awards. How? I don't know. Do you know another 15-year-old kid who got an invitation to the Game Awards who wasn't an actor in a video game? The people who are supposed to be invited to the Game Awards are supposed to be people who are big in the industry. People who are in game development, people who are in journalism, people who review games for various important reasons like accessibility, uh, you know, the people who are voice actors, you know, mocap actors, you know, basically people who are in the making of games or reviewing of games in general. How did a 15-year-old prankster kid get an invitation to the Game Awards? Don't know. Now, how do we know who this kid is? Because this morning... Games journalist, or let me find his name, Jason Schreier or Schreiber, actually interviewed him. Now, as of, it's Jason Schreier from, I think he's Wall Street Journal, right? No, he's Forbes, Forbes Magazine. As of this morning, he had not released the, review, the interview yet. But he is saying his name is Matan, a 15-year-old. Some thought that what he did on stage was some kind of an anti-Semitic dog whistle but he's actually almost certainly a Jewish prankster because Jason Schreier is Jewish and he t asked a question in Hebrew and the kid understood it. <laughs> so, who is this kid? How did he get in? How is there absolutely no security that people just let people run on stage? <laughs> but that's all we know for now and apparently there'll be more later in the day. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, all right? My personal take on the subject, first of all, it's really stupid. Let's be honest here. It's incredibly dumb, right? Even that it happened was so stupid. But does it make sense for us to give it as much attention as we're giving? It was something dumb. It was an equivalent of, like, fucking someone, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, and jumping on stage, or, you know, getting on a phone call that's on a news show. Like, who cares, right? And the thing is, people are treating it with such attention that, sadly, I hate to admit this, what happens is other people get dumb ideas. Oh, wow, look at all the, the media attention this kid is getting today, right? So what's going to happen is you're going to have people who are going to try to copy this kid. They're going to be doing it on everything now. You're going to see dumbasses doing the Bill Clinton prank. And that's stupid. If anything, the best way to handle this would have been no one mentioned it. Okay, it happened. It's dumb. You know, that's it. Move on. Now, oh, now we're going to interview the kid. Now we want to have fucking news stories. He'll probably be on fucking drama alert and shit. Who cares, right? Like, who gives a fuck about this kid? Don't give him that attention. Because if you do, that's just going to make other people say, oh, look, that's a way to get attention. I'll do it too now. You see? But sadly, I hate to say it, these people in the games industry, especially these journalists, they get so up their own ass about drama and shit. Oh, this is the hot news story. People are even giving Jason Schreier shit. They're like, why did you interview this guy this morning? He goes, oh, well, I think this is newsworthy. They're like, no, it's not. The kid's a shithead. He goes on stage. He's trying to prank people. You know, he's dumb. It's supposed to be a formal reward show, not some asshole going up there doing dumb shit. Why even give this guy two seconds of fame? Give him none. 
then he won't be notable and no one will remember him and no one will be talking about this. We can all move on with our lives now because you're, you're giving him attention. Now everyone is just going to continue carrying on about the nonsense, right? So basically, I see both sides of it. I do think it's really stupid. And yes, I think the Game Awards now, sadly, as... as I Here's the thing, okay? People basically like to think the world is this crazy safe place. It's not. People are nuts. People don't do, shit, do dumb shit. If anything, what we saw a couple years ago during a time period when COVID was rampant, Black Lives Matter was going on, there was riots all across the country in the United States, no one is safe. It's this weird misconception of safety. So people go to the Game Awards and they think, oh, we're all safe, right? No. If anything, what that proved, at any moment, someone could have just acted a fool and there could have been horrible consequences for it at the Game Awards. They have nothing to stop anything. If a kid can just get on stage and do something stupid, someone could have done something even worse. Okay? So I hate to say it, it's time to start taking shit seriously. You know? Enough with the whole, oh, let's just trust everyone to do the right fucking thing. No. Track record says people don't do the right thing. People do the wrong thing all the time, and they fuck about, and people get hurt because of it. So enough is enough. Next year at the Game Awards, have fucking real security. Have people paying the fuck attention, and don't let 15-year-old kids into your fucking show. For as much as I like Jeff Keighley, all right, I, I knew people who were at the Game Awards, who I care very much about. I don't want people getting hurt because people think that this is some kind of a safe world. It's not. Fuck off. Time to grow up and wake up. It's not safe. Anyone could have gone in there and done anything if a kid got on stage. Time to take it seriously like everything else on this planet and stop fucking about. Okay? That's my take on it. Fuck this kid. Give him no attention. Let's start being adults now and actually making it so that people can't just do whatever they want. Okay.